late night when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone. Late night when you need my love. Yes, I'm uh, still waiting for Tifa. Hey Goobos, what the final here today, Final Fantasy Auction, today we're going to talk about some more Final Fantasy 15, of course we're going to talk, you know, that's all it's all about lately, and I'm sorry if you're sick of it, but that's all, that's all, that's, that's what we're going to talk about, in the next week, next two weeks, next month, next couple months, and even when the damn co game comes out, but anyway, as you see for the title, this ain't a freaking good topic that a lot of people like, because ever since downloadable content came into Final Fantasy, ever since 13.2 came out, yes, 13.2, but the main Final Fantasy series anyway, when down downloadable content came in, a aka DLC, whatever you want to call it, uh, a lot of people did not freaking like it at all, and honestly, the only kind of cool thing about the downloadable content in like 13.2 was kind of the costumes, especially the uh, uh, Sarah one as well, if you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, the weapons and DLC and everything, they were completely goddamn useless. Like, honestly, if I'm gonna spend like kind of two, three dollars or whatever, I want it to be kind of somewhat good not you know especially better than the normal weapons that you get in the game you know i'm not talking about you know you know, you know the ultima weapons of course that uh, you know the ultima weapon you, it's hard to get you, of course it's going to be better than any goddamn weapon but at least make it better than the normal weapons but they didn't do that uh so th that was a fail and then also <laughs> what really got people pissed off about dlc was the 13-2 kind of story uh basically how you had to pay for the lightning ending and, and explaining the whole you know chaos uh kick you know Caius versus lightning i'm not going to get into much detail about it in case people have not played uh 13-2 and then lightning returns came out and honestly that was just basically costumes 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 and uh costumes and that's it and i don't think people really did complain about that too too much because you know if you didn't want it you know just don't buy it you know like it's not something really necessary or whatever but for final fantasy 15 so far what's been announced for DLC anyway is that airships in Final Fantasy 15 will be added in later for DLC because they didn't have enough time to put in the damn games so that's what they basically that's basically what they said but what else for DLC in Final Fantasy 15 will be added because honestly Final Fantasy 15 from all the news, from all the interviews that we've been getting this game is going to be something completely different from what we've played field and just had in any other Final Fantasy game is going to be like of course it's going to be have the old style of FF in there and you can obviously tell from that when you played the demo you know kind of the battles the, the items the moves and whatnot it's a it's a it's a FF game you know it's a FF game you can tell what a FF game is and that's an FF game right there okay but uh you know since it's going to take this kind of different path and i would say leap because it's going forward and you know doing a lot of things other video games are not really doing right now just you know how real this game is finally becoming dlc kind of takes part of it as well because you know hey all right this you're making a massive game they want to kind of make more money on it and probably add in some cooler stuff which airships will be coming in now a lot of people for airships anyway they say okay this better be goddamn free then i don't think it's gonna be free i don't think it's gonna don't get me wrong i would love for it to be free you know anything anything awesome free is okay with me okay it's really okay with me but uh i don't think it's gonna be free because for transportation i'm pretty sure that's what they're gonna be listening as because i'm pretty sure there'll be a lot of dlc in final Fantasy 15 and uh you know i'm kind of cool with it i'm kind of cool with it because you know for me i'm the type of person that okay if i play a game like a lot a lot a lot and i'm basically doing the same thing over and over and over again i want something new i want to do something new and uh i you know if there's dlc and there's something up for grabs i'll take it buy it and play on the game because that's how much i like the game uh for airships or whatever i'll buy the airships you know honestly <laughs> i don't care i'm gonna get it anyway but what else could it be be uh could it be new cities could it be new areas would they corporate would they go that kind of next step into you know dlc and actually 
install a new freaking you know not world but like new part of the world so you can go there and explore like kind of like how final Fantasy 14 and really born is even though that's an mmo that's a completely different story from final Fantasy 15 and final Fantasy 14 and really born but it's still you know add in a new area new explore that area maybe somewhat of a new story okay Let's not get that far into the. <laughs> let's not get that far detailed into that kind of topic. But that's what I'm trying to talk about. Uh, weapons, you know, obviously simple. You know, weapons, or whatever. If you can change your outfits for the guys, which is probably not going to happen. They announced that for NPCs just yesterday, how they wear different clothes or whatever. But if you could add in different costumes for them to wear, that would be be pretty damn awesome as well. Uh, if there's going to be mini games, you know, different types of mini games they get added into the cities. Uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Or change your car. Okay, okay, this black car. Uh, let's have a freaking jeep instead. You know, all right, we can ride a jeep or have a garage or something. You know, DLC can go far with anything. There's been ridiculous DLC in video games. There's been really awesome DLC with video games. But will DLC also? The question is, will DLC be like? Will a lot of DLC? Will a lot of DLC be in Final Fantasy 15? That's another question as well. And the most, the basically the topic of this video is if you're okay with Final Fantasy 15 having having DLC or not. You could both let me know in the comments what we think about it. For me, I think I don't mind it too much as long as it's not dumb kind of useless DLC and if it's not you know DLC that you have to get to understand the story much or, or to understand the story of the game I'm okay with it you know if I see some DLC that's like useless and that's whatever I'm not gonna buy it you know if there's weapons that are, are DLC and you know they're not as powerful as the weapons have inside the game so what's the point of getting it you know that was 13.2's issues right there and uh, I hope they learn from their past mistakes on DLC and very much improve on it for Final Fantasy 15 because you know there will be DLC in Final Fantasy 15 anyway and uh, let's see what else they will do with that as well so anyway Kubos I just want to get your opinion on it what do you think about DLC in Final Fantasy 15 and if whatever else they're going to be adding into it if you're okay with it what DLC would you like to see in Final Fantasy 15 you let me know in the comments below Kubos and uh yeah that's for today's video so anyway Kubos Hope you enjoyed, I'm final, and I'm out, Koopo, Koopo, see ya!